Oh, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the uh, 3rd of July 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Also, visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Allow me just, just to uh, make some adjustments here with regards to the sound. Bear with me, folks. Okay, so that should improve the sound. Okay, okay. so let's get to the uh, stats then in terms of uh, Asian markets overnight. Let's have a look here. The Nikkei up 22 points, the Shanghai more or less flat, the Hang Seng more or less flat. So certainly no real sense of direction from the Asian markets, although economic-wise uh, or economic data-wise, we had Chinese data certainly stronger than expected overnight. Uh, Japanese consumer confidence coming on the weaker side. Japanese vehicle sales certainly coming in slightly stronger. We had um, a Turkey inflation rate coming in weaker than expected. So again, weaker growth going forward. We've had Spanish PMI certainly coming in weaker. We've had uh, CHF retail sales coming in weaker, but the uh, PMI coming in stronger. Italian, French PMI is coming in the weaker side. German PMI is always generally tend to uh, err on the uh, stronger side. Unemployment uh, in uh, Italy certainly increased, so again, that's a negative sign. PMIs in Europe slightly beating, okay, and the, the uh, PMI data out the UK certainly coming in weaker than expected. Unemployment rate certainly has increased in the Eurozone as a whole as well, so therefore having a negative slant, okay. We're uh, 39 minutes till Mr. Carney speaking now, we have uh, at 1 p.m., so that'll be interesting as to which way the uh, FTSE 100 will move. Then we're looking forward to US data, so we have PMIs, ISM construction spending again we have mr haldane as well later on at half past six so again quite volatile for the FTSE 100 okay so uh, let's see exactly where we're positioned on the european market from a technical perspective then going over to the german dax here looking, looking at the daily chart okay so we've certainly bounced off this key diagonal trend line bear in mind we still have the unfilled gap left open at 12,000. so again just be cognizant of that 60 minute chart at the moment we're still in those lower lows lower highs we have an unfilled gap below and we'll see exactly how the market responds there. We'll just take it as the uh, as the day progresses. Okay, so you have an unfilled gap below. Okay, so we've obviously gapped up here, gapped up from that pivot low at uh, 12326. We've gapped up almost uh, 100 points today on the uh, German DAX. Okay, so you're certainly facing resistance there. And like I said, you have gap fill below. Okay, so whether or not we break higher, if we do break higher, the next key resistance line will be seen around the 12 far 460 zone. And then you have the 12490 zone as well for resistance. Okay. In terms of the French CAC, let's just look at the French CAC on the daily chart. As of four and foremost, we bounced off previous resistance equals support. We have an unfilled gap that still remains open at 5060. 60 minute chart, we're still in that lower low, the lower highs, although we are starting to potentially break out here. So keep an eye on the French CAC for a potential reversal. Just looking at the chart uh, from a um, from this perspective you have an inverted head and shoulders formation so again right shoulder then obviously looking to break higher so just be made be made obviously be made aware of that pattern and certainly uh, remain open-minded to it as well unfilled gap below you have resistance seen at uh, 5190 previous support equals resistance at 5210 okay in terms of the FTSE 100 let's go to the daily chart first and foremost you're bouncing off that key support or key previous resistance equals support at 7300 psychological level uh, the 60 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment, we've certainly retraced here. Uh, in terms of the next potential move, we just take the pivot highs together. Mm, nothing really of any importance. Only thing that you can say at present, really, for the FTSE is that previous support equals resistance up here, which is currently seen at uh, 7380. Uh, we have made a lower low, okay, but we haven't made a lower high as of yet this morning. Uh, the lower high was at uh, 7302 and the previous lower high was at 7320 so so certainly the from my perspective the the bulls certainly are starting to fight back here on the FTSE 100 again mr carney's speech will go a long way in terms of the next potential move on the uh, the actual uh, FTSE 100 itself okay your pivot low is seen at 7300 so let's see how mr carney swings it in terms of which way and which direction the market is heading okay for now, we're just taking the pivot high, connecting this, these uh, key diagonal trend lines together, or key uh, points together to create this diagonal trend line. So do we actually fall back and close the gap on Mr. Carney's speech, okay? Or do we actually reverse and start to push higher? So again, be made, be made aware of that as well. Always be open-minded. You have a potential here for 
inverted head and shoulders now okay and looking for a potential reversal of mr khan he certainly tolls the uh, the dovish line again so again it'll be confusing because he's been hawkish and dovish and hawkish and dovish so we'll see exactly which way uh, he's slanted or which way he's positioned okay last but not least you're looking at the euro stocks we've certainly gapped higher from that 3440 zone we've gapped higher by 35 points and we're looking vulnerable here we're not pushing higher any further one fill gap remains at 3442 so just be made aware of that as well okay that's the status quo now the daily chart on the euro stocks already did hit gap fill and has bounced ever since so again that was certainly expected on the uh, the actual gap being filled okay so i think that's a good summation of european markets from my perspective uh, i bounced but a lackluster one at that and again it will be dictated by mr carney now who should be coming out in the next uh, 30 minutes and uh, to uh, give us direction on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly download the latest app goodbye now.